Hello, welcome to World of Art Podcast, where artists can come to create and express their artistic ways on how they create their wonderful masterpiece. Today on the show, I have a very special guest. This is a very talented young brother, known him for many, many, many years now. You know, he, he does music, he paint, he draw, and he taught us taught us of how to play the instrument. So it's like I mean like like I mean what can't you do, you know? But you know, today's guest What's up y'all, my name is Aziz, aka A Z. Uh I just I don't know man, I'm just learning. I'm just trying to take these type of things one day at a time, you know. Yeah. But uh everything that I have my hand is because I have help. And yeah. immense amount of help to be able to get me to the point where I'm at. And it's like sometimes you just try things, you know. Yeah. I mean, you never know what you can do. You know, that's how I am as I approach my art. My artist um, graduated from the Cleveland Institute of Art uh, class of 2019. Technically, I was in the class of 2018, but I didn't get my degree till 2019. So, um, but yeah, and. Uh, I've just been learning a lot now that I'm out of school and starting to try to navigate how to operate as an artist in the working world, you know what I'm saying, how to be able to brand yourself, but also most importantly, how you are using your message to be able to connect with your community. How can you embed what people that are experiencing in your community, specifically people whose voices get marginalized mm-hmm. from what we're hearing in the news and media, what gets marginalized from history, that's something that I want my artwork to be able to act as a vessel for, a vessel yeah. for people whose voices are being uh, obscured, and specifically those people who are suffering right now, you know, as a result of the way society targets them, you know, yeah. specifically black people, black and brown peoples of this nation. So that's kind of what my, my artwork focuses on. Well, you know, I definitely love how you put that because, you know, Art can just bring so many things together, and when it can and will bring together a community, then you know to be a part of that and to express yourselves. So some people can't express themselves for themselves, so but they have favorite artists who like whatever that they see or hear, whatever it is. They're just like you relate wild. to it, like you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, it really hits home, right? Yeah. Right. Well. I actually find that to be dope. Actually, uh, one thing that a lot of guys that you may not have known uh, about me is that, you know, I fell off from drawing and painting a long time ago. And, um, but you know, I was doing a photo shoot for you, uh, you know, for your artwork and stuff like that, you know, and, um, and to see the artwork that he was doing, you know, it inspired me to start back drawing and painting. And I haven't did it in years, but you know, I started back doing it you know, and you know, I've been consistent and then it's up with like I do that and then like, I want to do something else and then something else and then it's funny because now that little spark that you started, oh, man. it led to this show and because of that, you know, it made me want to keep on going and like um, you know, hey, I'm gonna just be real, get on your level though, man, so you know, man, I appreciate you know, that, man. man. You know, you know? Shit, man. I, <laughs> I feel like you. Yeah, I mean, you always had it. It's just maybe it became dormant because you yeah. didn't give yourself like maybe enough time to work on it. Yeah. And, like, you know, once you got it, man, you got it. Some people say if you don't use it, you lose it. And to a certain degree, I guess that is true. But yeah. you ain't never lost it, man. You always had it. Well, I appreciate that. You know, yeah, but right you know, but just know, you know, this man was my inspiration to start that game going. So appreciate I appreciate that, my brother. Yeah, hey, man, um, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, you know, you've been doing art since you've been a little kid. Yeah, so I, I can remember. remember. And was that your was doing art was your way of all that of letting go of you know any kind of stress or like when you're growing up as a child you know you're in that moment or that place where you may feel you know unwanted or left out or just like that that you don't fit in. Um, how have art helped you to 
you know, kind of like bridge that gap and like cope with you guys. Yeah, that's, uh, I think it's always been, that's actually a very uh, important way that you can, that you can utilize it, that I utilize it. Mm-hmm. I definitely think that uh, as an artist, you have a natural response to um, manifest whatever you're saying or whatever is like, whatever speaks about your experience. Yeah. So if that's something that you're experiencing, that I think it will definitely, uh, that's definitely how we subconsciously speak about uh, how you're coping with this reality. And if it is something like neglect or something that is very um, uh, stressful, then naturally for me, our artwork is definitely naturally a thing that I just come to to, to try to decompress mm-hmm. and uh, you know find my balance recenter myself because uh, we've taken a lot of things subconsciously and we're constantly going through changes and we're reacting to the way culture is shaping us as people so sometimes you might you know I'm saying it'll be things that's affecting you and you might not even understand why it's affecting you it could be something related to your past or it could be something it could be something that you're hearing in news and media or wherever you're hearing things from that uh, might tune our brains towards a certain type of reaction or a certain type of behavior, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like hearing a commercial over and over and stuff like that. But uh, for me personally, though, you know, trying to utilize artwork as a way to like project my experience, that's definitely something I've been doing since I can remember. And I don't even know why. It's just, you know, yeah. I don't know. I just, I'm not really sure. I never really thought about it. Like, why? Who just who just picked up on that one day and said, you know what, I'm good at this, huh? Yeah, so, yeah. I just I just be having fun, really. That's yeah. really it. That's the most important thing. If I'm not having fun with it, it's like, eh. yeah. See, and and you know, I've always felt that everybody kind of have that creative side. It's up to you to find to find out what is yours. Um, you know, and it may be different from somebody else's or some things that people don't understand you know one thing about art is not meant to be understand all of the time you know it's meant for you to think it's meant for you to lose yourself into a different world put yourself into somebody else's shoes or or this like like just get lost in a fantasy because truth be told life is Life can be very, very, very rough, and it can be a struggle. You know, like, for example, last year, 2020, uh, you know, with this pandemic that's going on, um, you know, a lot of us went through stuff mentally, uh, and, you know, it really got to us. It really messed with us. Um, yeah, not but, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, yes, spiritually, yes, especially that. financially, like, it's yeah. like it's changing the whole world's perception on history, self-care, you know, political and socially engaged and energy that's in people's minds and people's hearts. Yeah. Like corruption, like it's I feel it's it's like a uh, like an upheaval, you know? Yes. A great upheaval of all this type of uh, you know, every aspect of our existence is being changed. It's true, and I completely agree with you. What you said about that, it's uh, huh. That's why I can say it's just uh. You know, right. I can't even really say that it's just uh. My That's body is tired and drained right now. It's just tired. Right. You know? So, uh, like um, you know, like I, for a fact, you know, I tuned into my artistic side a lot more during this pandemic. You know, I just couldn't just sit around and just not do anything. And yeah, and all the free time, that's the best way to use your free time, to be able yes. to be creative and manifest. Yes. Especially, I know you be, when you just be thinking of something cool, you ever had that moment where you're like, hey, that would be dope, I should do that. But like, you just yeah. kind of just don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like this. Days, yeah, yeah, like this, I'm saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have days like that all the time where I'm like, I'll think of like a whole like a whole, the whole process of creating like a piece, like maybe like a painting or like an animation yeah. or something like that. And it's like, I'll just sit there and be like, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And then I just move on. It's like, well, I mean, why should you yeah. do it? Like, but I, it's, I'm so guilty with that. Man. I'm saying, but the thing that I learned is that like, 
is cool, man. It'll happen because if you think about it strong enough, mm -hmm. that's something that is probably going to manifest itself. But the manifestation of it is a, a result of you rolling out and handling it, but without forcing yourself to do it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just to be like, okay, now's the time. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I tell myself so I don't feel like I'm uh, being uh, lazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you'd be busy too. We yeah. have all types of stuff going on sometimes. But it is important to make time for your creative side. And I feel like during the pandemic and stuff like that, if you, you cooped up in the house, why don't you work on things that can make you more self sufficient or work on your creativity, you know? It's right. Like we don't got a choice. Exactly. And then, like, you never lie about that. Uh, you know, as I said in a previous episode, that I was terrified of videography. And mm -hmm. here I am making videos and doing them on a regular every day now. Started this YouTube um, right. thing and stuff. And uh, and that all became, came because of, you know, what happened last year. You know, and I was just, you, you know, I was just in tune with my inner self, if you would say. Right. And, um, and I'm still in tune with myself on my creative side. You know, um, during this pandemic, what was your, did you learn any new craft? And if so, what was it? And also, how did last year, um, I, was art a way for you to express yourself from this world? What happened last year? Because, you know, you created some great pieces, you know, that I've seen within the last few months and oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. and and like, you know that mind of yours is it's a like, you know, how? So <laughs> so with that being said, um how did how big of a impact did the pandemic play on your life last year? Oh, well, I mean it was immense. It was immense. Like uh, learning a lot about a different, you know, different ways to make money, different ways that you should be uh, cultivating things to be able to take care of yourself, ways that you can cultivate uh, self-sufficiency for yourself in your home as far as, um, you know, I'm saying, being like us being brought back with or brought back in touch with things that can help us take care of ourselves like knowing how to grow your own food inside yeah. or like being able to have enough food and water and stuff stocked up and that's just like on the financial side mm -hmm. but then emotionally True. spiritually i'm sure like what i was saying people are getting all of these things that get pent up inside of you they're being extracted because of the pressure that it takes from being uh, isolated like that and yeah. then you start to learn all different types about uh, types of stuff about yourself how well are you taking care of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Are you neglecting yourself or others, you know what I'm saying? Are we taking out anger on others because we're, uh, you know what I'm saying, like everyone's confined to one small space, yeah. you know? It shows you that there's a lot of work to do, but as far as the artwork, it's been affecting how I, the way that I'm being affected, you know, in life in general is like causing me to, I guess, utilize my artwork to talk about that yeah. too so and I think it did it put a lot of pressure on me but like in a good way to learn how to do you know different stuff so mm -hmm. I started making you know I started um purchasing crystals and wrapping crystals and making jewelry because I used to uh hit on my dude black punk but I mean people just be busy people be getting you know there's all types of stuff that people have them yeah people have heard people been getting laid off and stuff you know what I'm saying? Or you just can't find work, so or you're just trying to hustle, you just you just don't have the time for it. That's what I was saying, like sometimes you just don't have the time for it. And that sometimes you can uh like for me, sometimes it gets me down if I feel like I don't have the time to work on something, but you you gotta realize it's yeah. different shit, you gotta prioritize, you know. True. Yeah, and one hundred percent on that for me too. And uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of just throw you all over the place and you never know what to expect. So uh, you gotta be on your best cues at all times. Um, right. You mentioned, um, you know, jewelry, uh, the beads that you were wearing. Um, was that crafted by you? Yeah, these are. Yeah, I did all these. This is um, uh, my mother found a shell. 
and I remember this shell uh, when I was a child. And she used to keep it in like a like a dish with the rest of her. Mm. I think it was a couple other shells, and then it was like beads and stuff like that. But she got it out of a box when she was she was going through some stuff, some of her old stuff, and I was like, "Yo, let me uh, let me get that. Mm. What you doing with this shell?" So yeah, but I you know that's just silver. Oh, that's wire. amazing. Actually. Like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. you know, I mean, you already know, you know, that I'm always a fan of yours. And, and, to be honest with you, I'm just, I'm just a man who appreciates all forms of art. So, you know, just like my music, I'm, I'm a fan of art music. If it sounds good, looks good, then I'm interested in it. And you had to expand your mind when it comes to not just art itself, but life itself. Oh, yeah, you had to expand your mind at all times. You can't just be narrow and be stuck in your ways. You no, know, because one thing about life in this world, the world will always evolve. The world will always turn and keep on going. The world's not going to stop for you. So if you're just waiting for something to happen or just stuck there, then you have to reevaluate on how you go about life. Right. And you're going to get left behind. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. And, um, and I tell this to everybody. If you have an idea, that's a start. If you have a passion, that's a start for anything. Truthfully, anything that you come up with and create, manifest within yourself and build it have that grow you know like that is your art form mm. believe it or not in order to accomplish all of those things you have to have a plan a setup and you know I just see things differently from people you know my name is world of art Filled with two D's and two T's because I see things differently. I see the ugly side, I see a bad side. Mm. Like the way how I look at life is if we're in if we're somewhere like you know, like say if here's this taking random pictures of this anything and we go into a room separately and somebody say, Hey, take your best pick of this camera here. My angle is going to be different from your angle. Right. My shot and my eye that I see from the from, from this picture will be different from what you see. So... And that's remarkable, though. Because we exactly. both look at the same thing. But it's the exact same thing. Exactly. So... So I just see things differently. Like, somebody may say, oh, that's weird, that's strange, that don't look right, or... But you know, I see, I'm, I'm looking from it from a different angle, and that's why I'm forever taking pictures of everything that I do or see or video or, and and it may look like nothing to you, but to me, that's something. Right. So and you can just do that with what's around you, like and then apply it to yourself, your brand, and bring people around you into your circle and help elevate all of them. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that you will go far. You will go far, you'll go high to the top. So, you know, I'm glad that's why you know this podcast, you know, to bring people on here like yourself, you know, because I want I want you to to go to the next level with your craft. Period. So, you know, um, I appreciate you coming on to the show. Is there a way that people can reach you? Do you have, uh, you know, social media or or anything else on how people can, like, you know, if, if, if they want to purchase something or do business with you? Um, yeah, yeah. My, uh, my Instagram is Uncle Z. That's Uncle underscore Z I Q U uh, E. If you're looking for commissions, because I am a freelance artist and I, um, I work in different medias, drawings, paintings, sculptures, expanded medias, video, and animation. Uh, you could just contact me through DM at my Instagram. Uh, the website is on the way. I started uploading some things. Mm -hmm. um, I just need to shoot some more of the new stuff, and then we 
should be rolling right. pretty soon. I'm thinking, I'm shooting for like the end of this month. Okay, as soon as the website is available, I will have, I will let them know, notify you guys, let you guys know, you know, make a little mini, mini video clip of, you know, say, hey, he's up and going. So, you know, let's talk some business and, and make you know, this happen. <laughs> so, I promise you, you guys will not be disappointed, you know, and as you guys can can already see, uh, you know, during some of the clips, I mean, the brother got skills. I mean, the brother has skills. So, <laughs> you know, definitely get in contact with Uncle Zeke. Yeah, so, <laughs> So, but you know, it was definitely appreciate you coming on to the show. Uh, we we got to do this again. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, there you, go. you know, so don't be a stranger up on it. So if you wanna, you know, just uh, you know, just come on on here again and just talk about you know a project or uh, a idea, you know where to come. Yeah. All right. Sure. I do have some stuff lined up. But well, hey, man, I appreciate it. I really do. No problem. No problem. I also have an album coming out. It's called uh, Everything Falls, Everything Fights Back. And a lot of the imagery, and actually a lot of the things we're talking about right now is kind of centered around um, what's happening in the world right now and how it's revolutionizing every single person and giving us a different outlook on life so that we essentially be creating like a new world, a new way of thinking. All right, well, that sounds great. And we will keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on, but you know, I look forward to that album. Um, hey man, appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Anytime, anytime. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys stopping in. Subscribe, support, tap that link, tap that like, share that button, yeah, and yeah. please continue to join in World War Podcast. Peace, y'all. Peace.